Hey guys, what's going on? So I want to talk to you today about why you should stop training your biceps. I know, it's crazy. You're probably thinking like, dude, come on, like biceps are the essential for having a nice arm. And I get it. To have a fully aesthetic, pleasing arm, you have to have the tricep and the bicep. However, what I mean by stop training your biceps is really start working on your triceps more, right? And it might be kind of baffling to hear this, right? But especially for anybody that's working at a desk, sits in the car for long terms, et cetera, et cetera, your biceps typically gonna be tight just because even if you take the account for driving all day, most people drive like so. So your biceps in a constantly flexed position. When your biceps in this constantly flexed position, it really limits your ability to extend your arm. Now if you think about it right now, what I want you to try to do is I want you to try to extend your arm nice and straight over your head. It might seem silly, but go on and do it. And if you can do a full extension, keeping your body nice and straight, not arching your back, and actually getting a full elbow lock while pushing your head or your hand over your head and not even getting your traps to light up, then odds are you might have fine range of motion. You might be good to actually engage the tricep enough in order to counteract the tightness or the probability of tightness in your bicep. However, if you're one of those people who has trouble pressing upward or pressing forward or, or even doing a pulling motion without your neck and arms like giving out, it's just because your biceps are abundantly tight, right? Because we're in this forwardly and rolled over position like I always talk about, this portion of your bicep, that inside head, is always bound up and tight. So there are plenty of stretches you can do to alleviate that, but the one thing I emphasize the most is like counteract it, right? If your biceps got all the tension and got all the strength right now, you've got to redistribute the strength and the tension to the opposing muscle, the tricep, right? It's the same concept with when I talked about knee drive and hip drive, right? I'm not saying it's bad to have knee drive or bad to have hip drive, but you want them to sync up and work together, right? So when you're biceps are overpowering your triceps to the point where you can't get a full comfortable lock at your elbow that means you've got a problem if you're stuck like this and you can't really do that or if you have a standing a stagnating like stance where instead of having like a relaxed arm like so you're constantly flexed like this odds are your biceps are tight and you want to take care of that because that's going to really impact the way you lift the way you move around and eventually what's going to happen is it's going to overstress and you might tear either the origin or the insertion port of the uh, tendon and the muscle and that's never a fun thing to come back from so guys i'm just saying like i know that biceps are one of the most commonly worked muscles in the gym but honestly start working about the back side of your body you don't see it as much but it's just as important the same way i wouldn't recommend people starting to lift with their chest i would start them with learning how to use their back something they're very unfamiliar with using something that's going to promote a better long-term fitness journey right so short it's a short and brief video guys honestly Work on a bunch of stretches, um, one included would be literally just externally rotating and reaching back. If you could plant your hand against the wall, that'd be great. Or if you were to lay on a bench and just literally sprawl out like so and have your hands reach down, you'll feel like the inside of your bicep and your pec just open up. So literally, and I'll show you really quick before I go, but it's, it's pretty much like this, guys. So what you would do is you'd literally just lay on the bench like so and just have your arms dangle. Now the objective here would be to try to put your, your um, hands at an externally rotated position so that way your arms would slowly fall to the ground. You'd get a nice locked out extension and you'd feel the biceps and the pec stretching out really nice. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you've got any questions about anything at all, whether it's muscular imbalances, how to build a better physique, or just getting stronger, maybe even dieting, always ask us. You can go to my email, it's tyler.shamali at ascensionperform.com. It's, uh, it's on our website conveniently, ascensionperform.com. And as always guys, take it easy.